All right, well, today just got a little more interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at my dad sitting sideways in a 4850, uh, stuck with a tractor and a scraper. Wow. Oh, he did it right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, Dad, you did it right. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You did that one well. So, uh, <laughs> look how crooked the cab boats are. <laughs> <laughs> you did it well. Like this uh, is bragging rights. I almost, you you I realize? Almost made it too. I mean, look where I was on the last pass. It, you, you realize you're like a foot and a half below the water, right? <laughs> water wasn't there a week ago. Yeah, no, three and a half inches of rain over the weekend. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, good news is we've been here before, right? Uh, well, you don't want to have to make. Yeah. Oh, it's good story. Yeah. I mean, kind of a normal adventure for me, and you ain't it. I've been stuck six times in my lifetime. Oh, whatever. <laughs> On this farm? Are you kidding me? Yeah, whatever. What decade? How many times have you had to pull me out? Over there. You really have only been stuck six times in your lifetime. Oh, probably. Uh, yeah, okay. That you know of. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. That's, well, that's, as a kid, doesn't count. Training doesn't count. That's only one a decade in your life. Yeah. It hasn't been very often, but do you remember the first time? Do you remember the first tractor you got stuck in? Forty twenty, about hundred feet over there with duels. Yeah, I, I sunk seven sixty combine over there, and then uh, I, so the one that was funny. Um, you, oh, you were so mad at me. This is the cool. This is one of the few times we get father son time, right? Okay. Yeah, T, I, I was in middle school. I'll take it as bonding. This is actually kind of mine and your bonding. <laughs> well, we're not exactly the father-son type that hugs it out. And we don't need to start either. <laughs> Over there, uh, when I was in middle school, I remember I was hauling hog manure with 4520, so two-wheel drive in this slough where we're stuck, and buried it one night. And me and you spent about four hours trying to get it out. Now, we did get it out. But then to make it up to you, I uh, took the day off school the next day and kept hauling hog manure. It was, it was torture, let me tell you. Holy crap, it was bad. <laughs> well, now you know why we want to leave this for the ducks. Yeah, I'll be pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get turned around. I'll get hooked up. But Thank you for back in there. Yeah, and then just go you go slow. Pop right out. Yep. But no, this is bragging rights. You did it well. We're a good foot and a half below water. Kind of cool. Okay. And like I said, these cat posts are pretty crooked. <laughs> I'm holding myself up right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'll take that as father-son bonding. Okay. But we might as well have made the, the pass worthwhile. I know I'm not <laughs> going Poor right little bull. I know we're not going right down in there again, but we brought some out. So. Oh my gosh. That poor scraper. Yeah. Like, it takes it though. Oh, 
It's all a lot of dirt already. All right, you should be good. Don't worry, I'm not expecting to hug it out. I don't want yeah. that either. Oh, uh, all right, I'll talk to you later. Oh, I'll move over. Yeah, I'm gonna go combine. See ya. Well, there goes my dad. Notice he didn't comment on the whole hugging it out thing. We're not that type of father son, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, yes. So the funny thing is, is he was below the water line and this chunk of farmland here, well, we used to farm it, then we put it back into a preserved wetland and, but they allow us to dig these wet ponds or these wildlife ponds on it, but we gotta remove the dirt. We can't just cast it over the side. Like it has to flow down into the pond. And so, which that's all my dad wants to hear. Like that means he can move dirt and he can be happy in a tractor and a scraper. The irony is uh, right there is an old tile line. Looks like it's pretty dry that probably means it's broken but if you see his track right there that tracks about a foot and a half down from the water you can kind of see right there the water is uh coming in and coming over the bank so tomorrow i bet this is all filled in but kind of funny he's embarrassed i'll let y'all in a little secret i've been stuck so many times in life don't even know where to start counting do we count in tractors combines semis definitely semis been stuck in semis many times been stuck in carpet cleaning vans uh, you name it. It's just been just my life. Like I said, that's my dad. <laughs> a few years ago, he had knee surgery, and uh, he's, every once in a while, he's on uneven ground. He's doing really good, but he walks with a cane. And uh, let me tell you, that cane gave him even more re reach to kind of smack you with. So, got to be respectful. But, nah, uh, I'm joking about that. But he, uh, this right here, this is his uh, retirement hobby, his uh, preserving wildlife. And, you know, just uh, building these ponds so uh, there's more wildlife here on the home farm and uh, it's kind of cool. This is probably, there's this one and another one that he's dug. And uh, yeah, when he, uh, back in 2020, I believe it was, um, 21. Back in 21, he was uh, um, able to get in the Steiger cab for the first time and we hooked that little dirt pan into it and he, he dug a lot. Uh, that's the nice way of saying it, and uh, we bent a hitch pin in the process, but uh, yeah, kind of cool. Like I said, kind of neat, but uh, I gotta get packed up and uh, make some more phone calls to deer, get some parts ordered, and uh, go start combining. So yeah, here we go.